It's your boy Luke of Seti. If this is your first time here, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If this is your second time here, make sure you like and comment. Now, today I'm going to be talking about friends and business, family and business, right? What not to take personal and what to take personal. I started my business over four years ago. And the one thing that everybody said four years ago was, I'll help this, I'll help do that, I'll help, I'll show you how to do this, I'll show you how to do that. And you learn very quickly that 80% of people that say they're going to help aren't. I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't take that personal. I read a book called The Four Agreements. One of the agreements is don't take anything personal. Now, most people, to be totally honest, think that you're bluffing. They think you're lying. They think that you're not going to ever start the business. So, of course, before then, they're going to say, oh, yeah, start a business. You know, I'll help you then. I, You know, I'll give you some money. I'll show you, take you to this person, take you to that person, get you this job, uh, whatever, you know, whatever business you got. If you're in the music, people is going to especially lie. The music industry is the most lionist, I don't know if lionist is a word, most lionist industry I ever seen ever, right? So, and I'm going to do something different uh, with this video for real. I'm going to put my, my intro of me and my uncle on there for real. And yeah, show you how to do that for real. But that's one of the worst businesses. One of the most lionest businesses. We just going to say that for real. Um, you shouldn't take it personal because one, this is not their dream. And people aren't used to seeing people actually doing what they say. I know it sounds crazy. You know, people say, if I say something, I'm going to do it. But most people are liars. Or most people, not, I ain't going to say most people are liars, but a lot of people lie about stuff that, you know, when it's important for real. You should only take it personal if it's somebody that's close to you and you help them. And even, even then. Just don't take it personal because you're going to stress yourself out. What works, well, what work for me, because I can't tell you what will work for everybody. What work for me is work hard without them. And then eventually they'll come towards you. They'll come to you uh, for help. They'll come to, once they see you working, that's going to make people want to help you. But if everybody see you chilling, they're going to think you chilling. But if they see you working, that just sparks the idea, okay, well, this person do this, or my cousin does this, my nephew does this, or my friend does this, and it helps them advertise. And another thing is, do not go on the internet and talk bad about your family and friends because they didn't support you. That's one of the I watch people make that mistake all the time. You could be messing up future business because people, that's very unprofessional. People looking at you, they're looking at you as a professional when you start off with a business, whether it's big or small. So they, they, they expect you to be a certain type of way. And when you start acting the total opposite or a different type of way, then they're going to, okay, well, I'm not ever going to do business with this person for real. I've watched a lot of women who do hair or women that uh, provide like nails and stuff like that, lashes. Get on the internet, like, yeah, my price is my prices. If you don't like it, you should shut up. I'm like, whoa. And if it's my home girl, I hit him up, like, hey, you know, maybe the person didn't have it this time. You should probably take that off of there because now your customers think that this is how you act all the time. You don't want your, you know, everybody could be a future customer. Even if they bluff for right now, they could be a, a customer in the future. And I learned that because somebody would tell me that they needed a job, a moving job done, and they might not have needed it done at that time, they can tell a friend or they might need it done in two years. Hey, we're still in business two years later, so we can still work it out. You feel what I'm saying? This is just a little game, little gems I wanted to drop on y'all for real. Uh, don't take anything personal, man. The moment you start taking things personal, it's going to drive you crazy. Don't drive yourself crazy and don't blame people for broken promises. Blame yourself. Self-accountability is the biggest thing. I'm going to point at you because this is what I want to do. Self-accountability. I need y'all to be accountable for yourselves. It's your boy, Luke Rossetti, and I'm out.